lot's happened since we last met. Wasn't it really great to see President Xi? It was fantastic and it was so nice to have so many students as well meet him. It really was and the picture of you talking to him at the end was really priceless. I'm so glad it was on the web. I'm sure you heard from a lot of friends. I did, I did. A lot of friends were very jealous that I got to meet him as well. We've also been really busy, of course. We've worked hard on the strategy and we're really proud of the college strategy and I'm very proud of the contributions the students made to it. Yes, and thank you so much for having such a huge section for students in it as well. I know it's going to make such a huge difference. Well, students are centrally important to us at Imperial and it's great to be working towards improving the student experience. So what else have we been up to lately? So throughout Freshers especially, we had uh, the He for She Get Free Tour came to Imperial. And it was such a fantastic opportunity to sort of have such a huge UN campaign come and speak to our students. And I was part of a panel discussion as well where lots of students turned up and a lot of male students as well, which hopefully that will make a huge difference to how gender equality is viewed at the college. That is really exciting to have so many men getting involved. And I know you and I share that, uh, that strong urge to work on women in science and engineering. You know, we really need more scientists and more engineers, and women make really great scientists. Exactly, exactly. It's so essential to have women in science. It's one of those things that I've always thought that if there are more women in science, it means there are going to be more ideas and more innovation. If you've only got one gender in science, you're never going to reach the full potential. So we can think of ways that we can inspire young people into scientific careers. How did you get interested in science? So I got interested at a very young age. I actually, it's quite a funny story. My dad took me to see Star Wars and that started my love for sort of everything to do with space and physics. And I also really got into conservation at quite a young age as well. And through school, I, we went on a lot of school trips and we did a lot of experiments, which really helped me nurture my love for science. Well, that schoolwork really reminds us how important it is to do outreach activities for schools. Exactly, exactly. And I love doing that as well. I've been doing a lot of outreach activities for schools. I've been speaking to a lot of school children about the importance of science and what they can do with science and making sure that it's fun. I think that's so essential in making sure that children know that if they go into a scientific career that it's extremely fun to do. I'm really proud of Imperial's work, the Reach Out Lab and the, and the activities. I see the school kids coming in every day and they get to have that hands-on experience and really understand what it's like to be a scientist. I hope that motivates them in the future. I've absolutely loved science and it's that hands-on that is so enjoyable as well, as you say. We're finding it's important to reach out to even younger kids because young children are naturally curious and natural scientists and somehow they lose that along the way and if we can make a difference and keep them motivated and excited about science, mm -hmm. we'll, f we'll see more coming to Imperial. Exactly, and I think what really helps with that is the Imperial Festival as well, sort of having lots of families and the public engagement that come into Imperial and see what we're doing and see how fun science is. I think that really engages a lot of young children. That's true, and then once they get here, it's important to support our women, our women in science and engineering at Imperial. I'm excited about the things we do like the Athena Swan program, uh, which really helps support our women academics uh, in academic careers as they, as they forge their careers and look ahead. And then the Althea Imperial program where our young uh, students and, and academics can bring ideas forward and, and start entrepreneurial endeavors. You know, we found that fewer women were starting entrepreneurial uh, programs and, and really becoming entrepreneurs. So if you put out a prize and a program that's geared toward women, a lot of them will, will come out and they will try uh, to compete with men and other entrepreneurial uh, competitions. And it's been really exciting. Yes, and that's exactly what we need as well, getting women so involved. Because there's such a huge overlap I find between sort of entrepreneur and business side as well as the science and engineering side. And that's so interesting, and especially people who are interested in both those areas as well. Well, I've been really uh, impressed with the women I've met at Imperial since I've been here. Um, I see incredible role models in some of these uh, women, and I know that role models are important to us. I was particularly excited by meeting uh, Margaret Turner Warwick. She's a pioneer in, in lung disease and, and in asthma, and she led our uh, National Heart and Lung Institute for a while. She was also the first woman to lead the Royal College of Physicians. Uh, but what she said in her talk was uh, she talked about going from the bedside to the bench instead of the bench to the bedside. 
and we talk a lot about translation in that direction, but she said what she learned in her clinical work, listening to patients and took back to the laboratory was actually more important for advancing uh, science and advancing the understanding of disease. Yeah, that's really interesting. And I also have a, a woman who I found very sort of influential. Uh, a couple of weeks ago, I went to the 2015 WISE Awards, where one of our Imperial alumnus, very recent, she graduated in 2015, earlier this year, um, Dr. Marily Nika, and she won the WISE Influence Award for all of her work that she has done with sort of getting women into technology. And she did her, uh, her PhD in computing, and she was part of the Women in Computing Club here at Imperial. And she's now a program manager at Google. And she's doing such incredible things. And it's great to see someone as well who's just starting out in their career being a huge influence and role model for younger children as well. That is great. It is great to meet people. And, and I think back to uh, when I was a postgraduate student, I met uh, Julia Higgins, our own Dame Julia Higgins, uh, at a conference. And then I used to see her uh, at international facilities for doing uh, neutron scattering and x-ray scattering. She's an expert in polymer physics and a chemical engineer like me. Uh, but she's also been such a leader in serving us so well, as you know, as the head of the Board of Trustees for the Student Union and on the Council. Uh, we heard the other night she had served three different terms on the Council and has done so much for us. And she's going to be the new uh, president of the Institute of Physics. So it's, it's really great to have these friends and role models uh, to, to talk to. Yeah, that's absolutely fantastic, and especially for women to be in the Physics Institute as well. It's brilliant. What are we thinking about in the future? What can we do together? And, and uh, I think that the, the student union and the university have worked together so well. Mm, I'm really, really excited for the college and the union to collaborate on the Women at Imperial Week. And I think it'll be a really good opportunity as well to celebrate the amazing things that women have done in science and engineering, as well as all the women at Imperial who've done incredible things. And those cele celebrations, I'm sure, will really influence a lot of younger scientists who are doing their first degrees at the moment at the college. Women's Week is just one week, and we need to make every week uh, women at Imperial. I'm sure there are many things we can do along the way, because it's great collaborating with you, Alyssa. And you, Alice.